What is going on guys? Thank you so much for tuning in. Now today we have another vending video for you guys. I know you guys seem to like the vending topic pretty well. So uh, gonna go ahead and pump out another vending video for you. But uh, this one, this video is gonna be here to answer a question for a lot of you. Uh, I get a lot of comments down in the comment section asking if uh, vending is still a viable business. Uh, or if more specifically bulk vending is still a viable business. Uh, I also get emails about this sometime. Um, by the way, you feel free to email me. Love interacting with you guys. Uh, love reading the comments and everything like that. I'd like to try to you know help as many people as I can with any questions or concerns they have. So make sure you leave a comment down below if you have any questions or anything. But this uh, video, like I said, is going to be answering that question for you all. And hopefully I can give you a little bit more insight based on, you know, the little experience I do have in the vending business. I've been in the business about, uh, I want to say six to seven months, somewhere around that time frame. Don't remember exactly when I started, but I have shared my journey the whole way on YouTube for you all to see if you want to go back to my previous videos and see everything that I've done with vending. But uh, today I'm just going to answer that question for you all. And before I do, if you could just really help me out, I would really appreciate it if you all just hit that like button. Really helps out a lot. We've been growing this channel really fast, uh, up to over 500 subscribers. I can't express how thankful I am to all of you. Uh, I'm super excited to hit that 1,000 subscriber mark. That way I can give you guys a, an awesome giveaway. Um, I'm thinking I'm probably gonna be giving away a single head gumball machine. Uh, don't know 100% for sure yet, but uh, in the comment sections, if that's what you want me to give away is a single head gumball machine, comment down below. And uh, if you have any other suggestions, comment down below as well. That way I can get you guys what you want. Uh, keep in mind, I am trying to keep it around $100 for this giveaway. Um, as I grow and as I do more giveaways in the future, uh, I'll probably be doing larger giveaways because I do want to give back as much as I can. Uh, but right now, I'm not making anything from these videos. It's really just been something I enjoy doing and I want to show my appreciation somehow without really breaking the bank too much. Anyway, guys, thank you so much yet again. All right, so if you all are just looking for a simple yes or no answer on if I think it's still worth doing, or if I still think that the bulk vending business is a worthwhile business to get into, then my answer is 100% absolutely, definitely a worthwhile business to be in. Now, one of the major concerns that people have mentioned or I have seen in the comment section is people say that uh, we're moving to a cashless society and people don't really carry change in anymore. And that is simply just not true. Yes, our society is moving in the direction of not having uh, a lot of cash as much as they used to. However, it is change is not something that's going away anytime in the near future. There is plenty of time before that happens to capitalize on the bulk vending business. Another thing is people say that I live in a small town. Is it really enough people uh, in my town for it to be worth it? And in my opinion, I think that's an advantage. Personally, I live in a small town. I have a very easy time of finding locations. I get a lot of yeses and I have a very minimal amount of competition around my area. There's a few people around that have their own machines, but it's certainly insignificant compared to if you were to go to a bigger city, like say New York, for example. Yes, you're probably gonna make more money because more people are passing by, but you're also gonna have a much more difficult time getting locations because it is much more competitive. You're gonna be having to pay a commission. So honestly, I think being in a small town is an advantage over a, a bigger town. But if you are in a big city, like I said, if you can land those locations, you are probably going to be making more per machine than I will in uh, a small town like my own. Before I break down all of the numbers on profit, I do wanna mention about the vending business on the probably what I believe to be the number one by far reason why I think it's a worthwhile business to be in, and that is because of how passive it is. And yes, vending is an extremely passive 
business model, specifically bulk vending. Now, that's not to say it is not a lot of work. It absolutely is a ton of work going out, finding locations, getting machines, setting them up, fixing them, all that kind of stuff. That's a lot of work, sure. Once you have a location set up, good to go, you don't really have to do much at all. You have to drive to the location uh, once every one to three months, collect money, and refill it. It is that easy to maintain. Sure, sometimes you're going to get kicked out of a location and you're gonna have to find a new one. If you can find locations that can sit for a year, two years, 10 years, uh, there's definitely those kind of locations out there that love having a machine that make you good money uh, and you don't have to do hardly any work once it's set up. It's my absolute favorite part of the business. I am sitting here recording this video knowing I have candy machines around town slowly collecting money for me. Uh, the more I get, the more money I make from them. I'm going to work later today knowing I am making money from my machines passively. I just have to set out a little bit of time out of the month or every two to three months even if I really want to, uh, to collect the machines and um, collect all that money to deposit into my bank account. It is absolutely amazing knowing that I have all those machines out there making me passive income. All right, so time to get into the nitty gritty, get into the numbers of the vending business on how much it costs to set up, how much it costs to maintain, and how much profit or positive cash flow, I should say. It's not technically profit until you pay off your machine, but it is positive cash flow if it's moving in the right direction every single month. Breaking it down, it is very reasonable to get a machine for $100. Realistically speaking, you can probably find them pretty easy for only 50 bucks a piece, but in this example, I'll just use $100 because I know for a fact you can get a brand new uh, Rhino Supreme gumball machine from Gumball Machine Warehouse for about a hundred bucks, uh, all expenses, shipping, everything like that. Continuing on with the example, the average bulk vending machine makes approximately $10 in month uh, in positive cash flow. $10 a month for a hundred dollar investment, that's $120 a year, you've made your money back within a year for approximately a 120% return on investment on average. Very good numbers there. Now, keep in mind, it is very small amounts of money for each machine. That is why the margins are so high. So let's say you have 25 machines around your city and they cost you about 100 bucks a piece conservatively. So you put $2,500 into your business. Let's say you got them all located and set up good to go. You have a $2,500 investment that pays $10 per month per machine over 25 machines, so that is $250 a month in positive cash flow. $250 in a month is pretty decent for something so passive. Now, a lot of you may be asking, well, how long does it take to service them, and what are you getting hourly rate for your time? So. Realistically speaking, you could probably service 25 machines as long as they're in reasonably close proximity uh, in about five hours. And that's probably conservative. If you're really hustling, you can probably get it done faster, but that breaks down to $50 an hour. So you can spend $2,500 to get $250 a month or $50 an hour for five hours out of the month. Uh, that's only 25 machines, mind you. Imagine when you get 100, you know, you're increasing even further, you're making even more money. And let's say you even did something like space out your collections to every two months instead of every one month. You just doubled your hourly rate. Now, it's the same return on investment, but the amount of time it took you to maintain it was significantly less, the same amount of income for half the time. I hope this breakdown uh, helped you all out and kind of gave you all a little bit better of an idea on what to expect if you're just getting into the vending business or you're in the vending business and trying to expand and you have so many machines and you wanna see if going forward and continuing is really worth it. 
Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure you hit that like button. It really helps out a lot. If you have any questions or concerns, uh, feel free to shoot me an email. I'll put a link in the description. And then also, uh, feel free to comment down below. I love interacting with you all and uh, answering questions in the comments. I love the support that you guys give me. That's gonna wrap this one up and I will catch you all in the next one.